So, I'm going to do a brief video for my liberal friends out there and for the left in general in regards to the Covington thing, okay? And it's about just because someone also hates Donald Trump as much as you do doesn't mean that they're your buddies or that you need to politically align yourselves with them. And I'm doing this all low tech. I don't have uh, video game B-roll of first person shooter games or, uh, you know, cool electronic music to hold your fucking attention span. So, you know, you're warned, okay? But this is why right here. This is the black Israelites. This is the group of dudes that showed up with the Indian guys. The Greeks was a bunch of homosexuals, is what he said. You what? Anti sodomy. This is where he says Trump is a homosexual. And the fucking Catholic kid says, who cares? The fucking Catholic kids defend homosexuality in this. This part is great if you're a liberal. Do you hear that? They're still humans. The evil white Catholic kids are defending gay people against these guys. And these guys are the people that we jump in the bandwagon with when we immediately assume that uh, anybody who's against these kids with the red... And granted, I will give you, the kid in the red hat does look like the kid that bullied you in high school, okay? And I was bullied by white kids in high school. But you know what? I didn't think of it as, oh, they're doing this because they're white. I just assumed these guys are assholes. And you know what? I got over it. I don't feel that it's a national news story, really. I want to hear about the government shutdown. That's what I want to hear about. I want to hear if Mueller's found any fucking thing finally, okay? I don't care. The whole last two years has been people in the streets talking shit, wanting to kill each other. And this kid fucking smirked at somebody? And this is the news, man? Like, this is the people that we're, we're, we're defending, okay? We're defending anybody that's an enemy of these fucking kids because they got these hats on, right? And I understand that you hate Trump, you hate his fucking guts, you hate the fucking shit in his guts. I get that. That's fine. You know, 2020's coming. If you guys can find somebody better, then you can beat him, okay? But jumping in bed with these motherfuckers right here that are saying that America's evil because we, quote, give faggots rights is what these motherfuckers are saying. These are not your buddies. If you're a leftist liberal, you're pro-gay or you're pro-woman or all this stuff, these are not the cats you guys want to hook up with, okay? Just because they hate Trump as much as you do doesn't mean that this is where you need to go. So fucking look into it. Figure out exactly who, what went down, who said what. Wait a couple days before you go into fucking Twitter outrage mode. Because everything has a backstory. And this just proves to me that we're so thirsty for Trump blood that we didn't realize that this Trump blood was on this fucking dick that we were about to suck. And this is what you're getting when you jump in bed with these people.